Our story this time is about a horror painting that is haunted and brings death to people whose lives intersect with this painting. So what's the full story? Come on, let's get started. There is no doubt, that the painting, which is called the most haunted painting, is very scary. The painting, called The Hands Resist Him, depicts a boy standing next to a girl doll, with empty eyes, and a sad face. The doll was holding a strange device, with wires popping out. Part of this painting are tiny, disembodied hands, trying to grab the child, through the glass door behind him. But what's even more terrifying than this painting, are the scary stories about the people whose lives come into contact with this painting. This painting has an ordinary beginning, and was painted by a painter named William Stoneham in 1972. William Stoneham, born in Boston in 1947. William never knew his biological father and mother. When she was nine months old she was adopted from an orphanage, and her new family took her to Chicago, then settled in California. William, who is an adult, struggles to survive as a painter. Until 1972, a gallery called Fane Garden Gallery contacted him and gave him a contract for two years, to make two paintings per month for $200 each. At one point, the dateline was close, but William had no idea for his painting. He took a childhood photo of him when he was five years old, which also became the inspiration for his first wife, to write a poem in 1971. The poem is based on the sad experiences of William, who never knew his real parents. One line of the poem, which reads the hands resist him, caught William's attention and he decided to title the painting, with a line from his wife's poem. He painted himself, who was five years old in front of an apartment in Chicago. At the time William's adoptive father worked in advertising, and traveled a lot because of it. William's family lived in his grandmother's apartment in Chicago, to save money. Little William often played with the little girl who was his neighbor. On one occasion William's parents asked William and the little girl to pose in a glass door, and had their picture taken. What they do not know, two decades later, William made the photo into a terrible painting and became a legend on the internet. After completing the painting with a number of modifications, William submitted the painting to the Fane Garden Gallery. William never saw his painting again, until 26 years later, when it became an internet sensation. Several of William's paintings had been on display by the Fane Garden Gallery before, but only those paintings were sold at a high price, and were purchased by actor John Marley who is famous as one of the legendary actors who played in the legendary film, The Godfather. The painting was also reviewed by an art critic named Henry Seldes, then the story of this painting began to be terrible. A few years after this painting was purchased by John Marley, Henry Seldes who reviewed the painting died, then the owner of the Fane Garden Gallery where this painting is displayed, also died, then in 1984 the actor John Marley died. After that this painting disappeared from circulation and did not reappear until 2000, in a post on eBay. In 2000 a woman in California, named Lucy, found the painting abandoned in an abandoned brewery. Concerned about the condition of the artwork, he took it home, but it wasn't long before he decided to sell it on eBay. Very beautiful painting she wrote on eBay. We even had time to wonder, why can a painting as beautiful as this be just abandoned? Until one morning our four-year-old daughter half a year, said that children in the painting always fight, and get out of the painting every night. 
The girl's father then put a camera, that is very sensitive to motion in his daughter's room, to show their daughter that the painting is just an ordinary painting, and there is nothing to be afraid of. But after checking the recording, it was the father who was surprised, because he saw with his own eyes, how the boy in the painting crawled out of the painting, and ran with a frightened face. The father also got a recording, which shows the doll in the painting coming to life, and holding a gun in her hand, to force the boy out of the painting. Some people of course think that this story is just a way to market the painting, but in her post the owner reminds potential buyers, not to make an offer, if they have small or unusual guts, with supernatural events. More than 30,000 people visited the post, and many of those visitors, reported that just looking at the painting, made them feel sad or sick. One of the website visitors claimed, to hear a terrible whispering sound, along with a blast of very hot air. Other visitors said, they immediately felt uncomfortable, and even experienced a feeling like their mind was being controlled, by something invisible. There are also those who say, that his throat is like being strangled from inside, when looking at the painting. A prospective buyer said, that his computer screen suddenly turned all white, and became so hot, he even suddenly burst into tears for no apparent reason. Some other people also found it difficult to breathe, when they saw the painting, and their children suddenly screamed uncontrollably. A man said, that he could not see or study the painting, for more than five seconds, because the painting made him very uncomfortable. Another man who bought the print form of the painting, said that he hung the print in his family room, and all his friends and family who seeing the painting, immediately felt uncomfortable until finally his family and friends stopped coming to his house, so he was forced to take the painting off. After an initial bid of $199, the painting eventually received 30 bids and sold for $1,025. The buyer, Kim Smith, owner of Perception Gallery in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Williams, the painter, became very surprised when the painting he made decades ago, and never again he meet, suddenly became a sensation on the internet. He was contacted by so many people about this painting. According to Williams' own interpretation of the painting, the painting depicts a boy standing in front of a door, which is the boundary between the real world, and a fantasy world. The doll next to him, is the bodyguard of the boy whose job is, to guide him in another world. And the hands behind him, symbolize the various other alternative lives, this boy could possibly have. Behind the door, those hands also depict opportunities, that William could possibly get, behind the doors, he couldn't get in life in fact as an adopted child. According to William, there are so many memories that echo, from the lives of many people in one place, maybe this is which is called, the means of channeling the spirit. In 2016, Darren Kyle O'Neill, published a book about the haunted painting, entitled The Hand Resist Him Be Careful What You Wish For. I in the book, Darren uses the painting as, the basis of the story about a serial killer, known as a life changer. It turns out that Darren himself also has a spooky experience, with the painting. He first saw the painting online on the internet, when he was still living in Dubai. Darren then printed the painting and left it beside his desk near Darren's other documents. After that he went to Italy for a month, and when he came back, the air conditioner in his house turned out to have had a problem, to the point that everything in the room turned green, and moldy. 
After this painting became so famous, William was asked to make a few more paintings, that were part of the series The Hand Resist Him. He made two sequel paintings, which entitled Resistance at the Threshold, and Threshold the Revelation, which depicts the same character, but 40 years later. Several years later, a third commission was requested, this time for a prequel. William created, The Hands Invent Him, depicting the artist as a boy, who is behind the original painting's door, and who holds a paintbrush amongst other visual elements. In 2021, William created what he says is the final painting of the series, What Remains, depicts the original painting's setting, as deteriorated and scattered with the detritus of earlier lives and stories. The painting is currently stored, in a warehouse at the Smith Gallery and Kim Smith as the owner, has only shown the painting six times, since he bought it and only recently will show it when there is a special request. He has received many offers to sell paintings. However, he always refuses all the offers. Ok guys, that's all for today's story. Hopefully nothing untoward happens to me and also to those of you who have watched this video. Because frankly, I made this video at night, and felt quite goosebumps, looking at the painting, especially seeing the doll's eyes. Really scary guys. Thank you for watching this video until it's finished, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Thank you and see you later.